Hi, my name is Tiffany Visionista Cress. If you have already looked at my YouTube channel, you ha have seen me dancing and singing in certain videos. I have now decided that my YouTube channel will absolutely not be complete if I don't add some videos in which I have the opportunity to share my wisdom, my ideas, and my passion with this world. This will be my first video in my series. I hope that I can get some feedback so I know which topics would be most helpful to talk about in the future. I don't really have any specific limitations. I do want to talk more about business, the corporate world, and how I see uh, there is so much room for improvision. I believe as my generation matures, as it works itself up in the ladders, we're going to see many changes in these large corporations and in business in general and the way we do it. I really hope and believe that these changes will be for the better. I, I want to use YouTube and my channel to interject ideas. In, in many aspects of the business realm and I plan to do that. I also want to use this channel as a means to continue with my creativity. You have certain videos in here with me singing and dancing still um, and also um, education. I want to talk about education. Something that I want to revolutionize in this world. I, I think there's a lot of things that we still do backwards. We still put so much effort into teaching things with the wrong methods. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of understanding. I don't really know how I have it. I think it's just from going through certain experiences and seeing how I, I train myself. Uh, I'm also speaking with other people who did the same thing and there's certain methods in teaching that I think need to be improvised. I want to share some of my ideas and I want to utilize this channel to do so. And of course, learning is not limited to the classroom. Learning is something we do in every aspect of life. So I, I do believe that my ideas will be useful to anyone. Finally, I plan to make videos that share my wisdom, my inspiration, my passion, and my comprehensive understanding of life lessons um, on this channel. I know that I've always had a certain deeper understanding, a certain depth that has led me down a, a path of, of wanting to share more with this world. Whether it's writing poetry, whether it's blogging it, you know, speaking it, I, I want to to give as much as I can in this life. And this is one of my gifts. I have thoroughly uh, made up my mind that I don't want to walk out of this life with any regrets. And I think the largest regrets come from when we held back. We have to give as much as we can. And I want to do that. And so I want to share my wisdom and my passion with this world. Thank you for listening. So for today, I am going to talk about one thing. And then if I don't get on too long of a tangent, it will actually just be one thing. I think in life, we tend to compare ourselves way too much to other people. 
We compare our success. We compare our materialism. We compare our looks. We compare our name in terms of whether we're well known or we're not. We compare it all. And I think this is bad in in the aspect that oftentimes, of not often, all the time, we really aren't comparable. We all have unique abilities. Sometimes we're recognized for what we do. Sometimes we're not. And it's a shame when we don't value ourselves enough because we feel that we're not good enough because we're not publicly recognized for whatever we contribute, for whatever we bring to the table. Don't live your life in need of recognition. Live your life with the need to share and to give as much as you can. That is true passion. That is true fire. That's unstoppable. If you live your whole life doing things based only off of the fact if you get compensated, if you get rewarded, if you get recognized, if you get fame, and you said, no, nope, I'm not going to do this unless I'm big. You're holding back. Sometimes, so many things that, you know, are out there and we're like, God, what would it be like to have this or to be like this? In our minds, it's bigger than life. But in the reality, it just is the same just as we are. We have to learn that life is like a game and the fact that we are all meant to contribute. And it's dangerous when we live in another shadow, when we become obsessed or we become so in awe of someone else that we're so blinded to see what we bring to the table. We handicap ourselves in every way. There are so many things that need to be resolved in this world. There are so many things to do. So many ways we can each contribute. And while it is one of the best things to have people, true heroes we can look up to, who inspire us, not because of necessarily, you know, just what they do, but because of their character. We want to have them in our lives. But true inspiration does not handicap someone else. It says, look what I did. Now let's see what you can do. In a way that you have so much to bring to the table. Don't just expect me to bring everything. And, and sometimes I think in our society we have celebrities who... We're so in awe of them, and sometimes they're so in awe of themselves, which is perfectly fine, that we handicap ourselves, and we're so focused on them that we forget that there's no comparison, meaning they have a, their own unique talent. Of course they do, but so do you, and so do, so do I. So what I'm trying to say is that live in your own statue. Be your own shadow and see your own potential. Don't become blinded by another. Let their light help your light grow. But don't let it paralyze you. I'm signing off. Have a blessed day, evening, morning, wherever you are.